Hello, everyone. Here I have a little sketchbook. As you can see, it's a this just a little sketchbook. It has black tape. I did all the decoration for for my sketchbook, and I mainly used it for mandala drawings, for children, and and so on. It has a special paper because the paper is a paper of 160 grains. It is perforated, very perforated here, and this paper can be used for all my projects because I can use it for with watercolor, with acrylic paint, with charcoal, with anything I want. So it's perfect for mixed media art, but I use it for my mandalas. And for example, well, I have here this one. I did this one with acrylic paint. I paint the back room with black acrylic paint, and then I did all this with daughters, <laughs> nine daughters. I used my my nine <laughs> daughters. And then I did all this. I never did this, so it's the first time that I used this this technique for for mandalas. Then I did this pretty mandala. Here I <laughs> I did a sketch, and it's a basic template for mandalas, and how. I can divide the circles for later drawing tendalas and, and so on. Here I did a tendala following some instructions that I that I learned on a book from a book and well it doesn't look much. And here I did a mandala that I did with compass. I did some circles here and the circles again here. And then I did all the details using different black pens. And I did this this mandala uh, looking a uh, tutorial on YouTube. So well, today I am going to show you how I did this beautiful mandala. I did it with a graphite pencil, like this one for example, or this one, you only need a pencil, and then I used black, black pens for the ink, and I marked all the mandala with black ink. But, well, for this mandala, I didn't use compass and I didn't use ruler. So how I did this mandala? Well I yes used this old CD. It is an old CD that I painted with black acrylic paint and what I did was to take the man, the, the CD, I put it over the paper, then with a pencil I do the central circle and I mark an outside circle again. And of course, if you need more help, you can draw lines across and diagonal. Okay, so go look for another another CD because I am going to show you now how to do a mandala like this one with a CD. Let's go. Well, so here I have a white paper. Really, well, I have been doing that here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Here I have my white paper ready for my mandala 
of course I have also a CD and well what I do is to take the CD put you have to put the CD when you have your mandala and then with the help of the pencil what you have is to do is to mark the whole of the middle of the city and you can mark the center and then mark outside the circle of outside the city okay. as you can see an old CD is a perfect tool for doing wrong drawing. So this is a perfect circular template. But well, uh, another tip for you is that, of course, if you don't have CD, I am sure that at home you have a lot of circular items that you can use for drawing mandalas if you don't have a compass. For example, here, uh, around my turn, I have this little box. It's wrong, so what I do, I put it just on the middle, in the middle, in the middle of the circle, and again, with the pencil, I mark a circle, and well, I have many more round things here. For example, the water bottle. I put it on the middle, and. With the pencil, I mark the circle, and you can use as many circular items that you have at home because I'm sure that you have, for example, uh, cream cream boxes, for example, like this one that I use for my water. You can use. Uh, uh, I am so uh, you can use bottles, you can use uh, glasses, anything, any round shape thing can be used for drawing mandalas, but as you but the best um, the best thing I, I can for me is to use this today because it has a perfect shape for mandala. Okay. Well so now I have the circles, and I'm going to mark the ones that I did because, with the CD because, well, you don't need to mark too much the pencil because later you, you, will, you will link it with the black pens, so, well, and then what I do is Slowly, I mark a vertical line very slowly because it has to be line, and I don't want to make a mess because I'm not using ruler. Okay, and then what I do is to do slowly a horizontal. Line. Very slowly. Because, well, if you know uh, the definition of a line, a line is a, a succession of points. So, what I do is to do points, and I have more or less a line done. I am going also to mark the diagonals.
we do it as lovely I need do I need as lovely I can get a better line okay of course you can use you can do it with a ruler but the purpose of this tutorial is to draw a mandala freehand because in a freehand why because I want to show you that you can do a mandala without compass and without a uh, roller. I also have for example these circular rulers okay these ones are marked for for mark the templates of mandalas as you can see I can mark the lines I also can mark circle and it's very similar to the side of the city so if you don't have one of these you can always see it's similar and if you mark your city you will have a template like this one so very <laughs> at all I also have this ruler that well is can be used for for the steps of the mandala okay and they it helps me to to have perfect filters always okay so and well so well now I am going to start to add elements to mandala and here is what where it starts the funny part because because to draw a mandala is something very personal and each one decides which elements is going to add to the mandala for example me I'm going to start adding here some little petals I'm going to mark again yeah. another circle okay. and here I'm going to do uh, some speaks I mean, I am drawing freehand and it makes the mandala to have an, an irregular look but well, I, I like the irregular <laughs> look of freehand drawing and then I am, now I am going to add some petals okay. And well, to but now in a mandala, you you always have to start from the middle of the circle, and then you start to draw it. Okay. Okay. And um, and well, is uh, <laughs> the the funny part is that you can draw it with the drawing element that you want. And you go on adding more elements around the mandala.
to do a banana takes time. So be patient because because growing a banana is not something that is going to be done just in five minutes. But the good thing of banana growing is that this can be used for medita meditation. So if you grab the banana slowly and, and taking your time to to draw it is you are going to relax and to calm yourself. And this is a perfect anti-stress therapy. Well, so I shall done the middle part of the mandala. I have the center done. I of course I can have here uh, for if I want petals, uh, I can well, I can add another circle. And once the mandala is finished, okay, once it is finished, what you have to do is to take the black pens and mark the drawing with black ink. There is people then they draw mandalas just using black pens. <laughs> but I prefer to, to do it with pencil because if I do some mistakes or I draw something that I don't like very much, I can take the, the summer and erase it. Okay, so this is why I prefer to to draw with using a pencil. Here I am going to do bigger petals. Taking one, two, three, four. 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 Uh, well, the, then you can add if you want outside points. Some people also add some experiments like doing a kind of nearly and they are like that year well the Outside. You look to Mandana status. They have many of them have some some mists and there was well and and then once your Mandana is is done. What you have to do is to take black pens. I have here three different pens. 
this one has half of this point. I also have this one and this one. Three different, as you can see, three different pens. Perfect for drawing mandalas and centangle. So now this is the bigger one. And what I do is to mark the circle. Of the mandala. I'm doing this kind of fast, but please take your time when drawing mandalas because if you do your mandala slowly and being patient, I am sure that your mandala is going to look very beautiful. And this is what you have to do without your drawing. Mark it with black pen. This mandala is, a, is a starting to have a better look. And you will see that with the other pens, it's going to, to look very well. I love that <laughs> my drawing is not being perfect, but because I'm doing this kind of fast for the tutorial. When I draw for, for myself, I I do this <laughs> very, very more careful. Okay, so well, I have marked the border of my mandala, and now what I do is to to change the pen and I take this one that has a finer point. Well, so you have to go on marking the pencil with the black pens and once you finish to mark all your drawing then you take the rubber you array the pencil and well your your mandala is done. So as you can see you can perfectly draw a mandala and you don't need to have compass or ruler. The only thing that you <laughs> need is paper, pens, whatever and your imagination, your mind. To draw a mandala is something very, very intrinsic. And this is why 
but it is used as meditation. Of course, uh, the use of mandala have been have been mandalas have been used uh, on a lot of cultures. Uh, for example, the most famous one is the Indian culture. They use <laughs> mandalas, for example, for the henna tattoos. They always draw mandalas. But well, you, we can also find mandalas around, for example, Christian, Christian religion or on the art of many, many church. Okay, so well, <laughs> and I think that the mandalas, the use of the mandalas is something universal. Universal. We can find mandalas around all the world. And what I am doing now is to adding elements around the circles because a mandala has this kind of circular drawing and the process of drawing a mandala is this add elements doing these magical circles and drawing them uh, from the middle of the mandala to outside. Okay, here I have another black pen and I'm marking the points between the spaces, some lines. Well, the funny part of Rami Mandalas is that, uh, as I said before, it is something very, very personal, and you can, you have to to take into account that it is your mandala. So you are going to add the elements like you wish, and it is optional to you which elements you are going to use for your mandala drawing. And uh, well, so another thing is that you have to draft this, uh, draft a mandala slowly, taking your time to work those uh, mandalas are used for meditation. So if you do your mandala in a calm way, uh, listening some music and thinking about your feelings, your problems, your, I don't know, uh, whatever, but your daily routine. This is like a moment for disconnection, okay? And you have to, to learn to, to use this like a, a therapy. I'm adding again more elements around. It can be more easy Easier, sorry. If you move the paper, doing chicken, <laughs> okay, and what? Well, moving your paper, the gravity is going to be easier. So here I have my mandala. I added some little elements of shape, like painting or something like that. Hope you like the video. Enjoy your mandala drawing. Thank you very much. Bye.